Hey guys, it's Richie. Today I am back at Bangkok Drag Avenue for another Isuzu Race Spirit event. This event has many different classes. They're all Isuzu D-Maxes with diesel engines, and a lot of these trucks are incredibly fast. They're ranging from, I think, 11 seconds down to almost high seven. So it makes for a pretty fun event, and there's some really cool trucks here. Whoa. 8.89, damn. <laughs> sounds way crazier than the other ones. This shop has like three or four trucks here in different classes. And I think they modify the turbos for everyone. We actually have a pretty good crowd this time. Last time I was here, it was completely empty. We got wise girls handing stuff out, Sadika. We have Thai SWAT here for some reason at the Azuzu booth. Wow, this truck is awesome. It's got a really crazy intake on the front end. Let's go see what this thing weighs. 11.48 with the driver. Yeah, check this thing out. It's like, kind of like a, a jet engine intake on the front. So the minimum weight is supposed to... Huh? Okay, cut tie. Cut. Cup and cup. Okay, so the minimum weight for this 400 class with the driver is supposed to be 1150 kilograms. Man, that's crazy. Super light. Wow, check out this Ranger. This thing's badass. Oh, I think this is uh, the SWAT truck. Oh, it says SWAT on it. Man, the, the SWAT guys get a badass truck. Oh, yeah. It says SWAT right in the back window. All right, I was just talking to the people with the max speeding rods truck. So I guess it's a 3,600cc 4JJ. And the turbo is uh, 58 millimeters. It's pretty awesome. Explains why it's so fast. So the class we're waiting for right now, I believe, are 4JJ trucks with, uh, with drag radials. Let's go see if I can take a look. Just gonna see what engines they have. Oh yeah, these are 4JJs. So it looks like the stock turbo manifold. Yeah, I think maybe this is like a stock turbo class, but the turbos I think are modified. Let's go see if we can look at this guy, if it's the same. They all have fairly similar setups. Sadika. This guy, yeah, they just have different intake piping. Awesome. Yeah, so they're rocking a drag radial. 
It looks like a stock body truck. Just with uh, carbon fiber doors and carbon fiber hoods from the looks of it. Damn, that was a close race. This guy's got some traction. He was pushing his dude out of the way. Well, that one wasn't nearly as close. He gapped that guy by a second. So these are the 1.9 liter cars. Man, these guys just have to be getting pelted by rubber standing right behind the tire. Check out this truck over here. It's got the, the work truck stuff going on in the bed. But maybe it doesn't affect his performance at all. Crazy, the work truck won. <laughs> okay, out of these two trucks, I think the PTZ truck has it. Oh, damn, I was wrong. He's trying to run his guys over, what the hell? Well, I wouldn't want to stand behind that after it went into reverse. Wow, that was crazy. I thought the Team 6-9 truck would have won, but he lost by half a second somehow. Now this truck's interesting. So he went with the, the quad cab, but look how his rear tire is kind of tucked behind the door. Okay, let's take a look at this. So they went the four door, but then they like cut out the rear of the cab to clear the tire. I wonder why they decided to go with this cab versus just a standard, a more standard extended cab. Like the truck over there and most of the other ones are the extended cab and not a quad cab. Maybe the aerodynamics are slightly better. Or maybe they just had one of these chassis already. took that guy with him. He didn't let go of the spoiler. I wonder if he blew the head gasket or blew a piston out or something. Oh, I like this blue D-Max. This looks pretty sweet. It's got a few carbon fiber parts on it. T-37s, of course. All right, here it is. The M56 by Beer Truck. It's the work truck one, and it looks like he won his class. Or at least, I don't see a... Uh, I don't see a place on this. I'm guessing it's first. He looked the fastest out there. His engine is super nice. I mean, for a race truck, this is also like a show truck. Sadi Kaya. This thing is awesome. So it's like a modified stock turbo, I think, with a 1.9 liter. And they always have this corn kind of intake on it but I like the uh, I really like how he's got the work truck sides on it simple graphics and is this class a radial yeah it looks like a drag radial class too 
This is actually a really nice truck. That was really funny. I told those guys I liked their truck and they had me take a picture with them and their trophy. I should have got some video of it, but I'm not a real YouTuber, so check this out. This is how you transport your race truck. You put it on another truck that's almost the same size. I wish we had slide trucks like this in the US. I would have loved to haul my spec Miata around on something like this. Here's the, the ice tank for the water to air intercooler. You see it's got a bunch of condensation on it. So this is the 300 class. So this is like the uh, one of the four JJ classes. So here's another one that's a quad cab. Look how he barely clears the tire. That's crazy. And you can see it peeking through the crack right there. The Hoosier. This is the 400 class. So I guess it's another 4JJ class, but it seems more like a, a tube chassis. Oh, this is that yellow one from earlier. I really like these NPR 150 slide trucks too. But the, the Toyota based one, or like the regular truck based ones look so crazy with another truck on the back of them that's hanging off there. Like this Isuzu one. But look at that, USA Racing. I'm not sure what that means. But it's an actual flatbed truck. I don't think I've seen any flatbed trucks like this. And this looks like it's stainless steel. Yeah, it's all made out of stainless. That's pretty cool. And it looks like you can hook up some ramps on there. Maybe it's like to haul motorbikes around and stuff. You could probably fit like 12 motorbikes on there. That was weird. The timing said that the other truck only did 161 kilometers an hour, and the other one was like 234. Okay, these guys just had some serious drama. There was a guy underneath the truck earlier fixing the fuel system or something. Look how this guy's running around with a cigarette. I guess it wasn't running well. Damn, that red truck is fast. He got him by over seven tenths. Wow, 4,000 difference. That's crazy. That's the closest race. All right, here's the max speeding rods. This truck is awesome. like he just dumped his whole sump on the track. At least he didn't go very far. Holy shit. Oh oh. Oh oh is right. That's a lot of oil. And they're just dumping rags all over it. Wow, they have a lot of rags. But I think this is also part of why the condition of this track is like this. 
because I think you want to use something else. Well, at least he only made it up to right there. So he didn't dump it down the whole track since it was just on the burnout. But holy shit, this is going to take a long time to clean up. It was weird. There's no uh, chunks coming out. It just dumped all of its oil on the ground. I didn't see anything like rods shooting out or anything. Kind of seems like an oil line burst. And there's oil all over the floor pan of the truck. Wow, it's all over the tires, all over the engine bay. And it looks like he's tightening up the line or something. That's a total bummer because I really like this truck and I wanted to see it run. Well, on that great disappointment, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, this It's almost midnight and this is supposed to go till 2 a.m. And now there's a huge delay and I've still got an hour and a half ride ahead of me to get home. So I hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.